Feral children are those that grew up alone, usually in the wild. These young children were usually forced to escape their homes to avoid their abusive parents, while some were abandoned. Although rare, there are times when children forced to live in the wild find a new family in the form of animals. The consequence, however, is that many of them usually can't integrate themselves back into society, even after they're rescued. In this video, we'll delve into the harrowing stories of feral children who grew up in the wild. From the story of Amala and Kamala, the wolf sisters, and the boy raised by goats, Andes. Here are 15 people who were raised by animals in the wild. Number 15. The Wolf Sisters In October of 1920, Reverend Singh was called upon by distressed and horrified villagers near Midnapore, India. The group claimed that they had seen a ghost near the jungle and demanded the Reverend to follow them to exorcise it. Reverend Singh obliged, but instead of a ghost, he saw a much more horrifying sight. A pack of wolves with two human-like beings on all fours trailing behind them. This was the first time people saw the Wolf Sisters, Amala and Kamala. Some of the villagers wanted to shoot the human-like beings, under the impression that they were monsters. But the Reverend knew that the two were just young girls. The group followed the wolf pack to a den where the Reverend tried to coax the two young girls to come out. It proved to be a perilous task as the mother wolf stood in front of her cubs and the two young girls, protecting them from the suspicious group. The Reverend wanted no life to be taken, but the villagers already shot the mother wolf and caught the cubs, which were to be sold to the market. Meanwhile, the two girls were brought to the orphanage by Singh. The people at the orphanage would often hear the two girls howling at the moon. The two girls also didn't sweat, and their eyes would glisten in the dark. The two sisters also continued to walk on all fours, and they were fond of stealing raw meat. The two ate, drank, and walked like wolves. They even panted like wolves, and their tongues would often hang out from their mouths. The two children were also cautious and apprehensive toward adults often baring their teeth and snarling when approached. Reverend Singh's wife tried to connect to the two young children, but in September of 1921, both of them got ill, and Amala tragically passed away. Kamala lived for five years in the orphanage, and she learned several words before she too passed away at a young age in November 1929. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Victor of Aveyron. Victor of Aveyron was a feral child who allegedly lived in the wilderness of France until he was 12 years old. The villagers living near the Con Woods in France spotted Victor in the late 1790s. He was seen completely naked, and he was said to have been raised by wolves in the wild. Rumors about the young wolf child immediately caught the attention of scientists and researchers at the time. For them, Victor was a unique subject that could tell them how the human mind works when brought up in a different environment. Many called for him to be brought to Paris to be observed and studied. When Victor arrived in Paris, he was seen as half-human. In fact, he was only called Wolfchild, and he wasn't named until later on. He was dirty, scarred, uncivilized, and acted like a wolf. He only wanted to eat, sleep, and be left alone. Some psychologists believe that the story of Victor being left in the wild was fake. However, they failed to explain how a person with a mental illness could have survived in the wild. In the end, a medical student named Jean-Marc Espadetad took responsibility for Victor. Idard was the one who named the child, and he taught Victor several words and phrases. The child managed to learn several words and how to act somewhat human, but he never managed to be a functional member of society. Even so, Victor lived a tranquil and peaceful life until he died of pneumonia at the age of 40. Number 13. Dog Girl The story of Oksana Malaya is an extremely heartbreaking one. Born on November 4, 1983, Oksana Malaya never felt the love or warmth of a parent. Her alcoholic and abusive parents left her alone at an early age, and by age three, she was left outside the house in the cold. Desperate for warmth, she crawled into a farmyard dog kennel where she lived from then on. The early stages of childhood are incredibly important. This is where children start to learn all the foundation they need. Oksana did not have the opportunity to learn anything. She lived with the dogs in the kennel, and she ate all the scraps that they had left. Her parents must have noticed that she was missing, but they didn't try to look for her. It wasn't until about six years later that a lady finally noticed that a little girl was being raised by dogs inside the kennel. When Oksana was rescued, she didn't have the ability to speak. She moved around on all fours. She was emotionless most of the time, and she looked at other people as if they weren't her kind. 
Oksana was housed in a home for the mentally disabled where she learned how to speak, albeit at the level of a child. She eventually learned how to walk upright, eat with her hands, and express herself just like a human being. People who visited her claimed that just like a dog, Oksana didn't like being bored, and when given something, her first instinct was to hide it, reminiscent of how a dog hides a bone. Number 12. Below the Chimp Boy in 1966, a group of hunters found a young boy living among the chimpanzees in the Falgor Forest, about 150 kilometers south of Kano, Nigeria. The boy was brought to a children's home in Kano, where he was named Bello. He was only two years old when he was found, and many believed that he was abandoned at a young age by his parents. The boy was mentally and physically disabled. Bello's forehead was misshapen. He had a sloping right shoulder and a protruding chest. Many suspected that he was abandoned by his parents because of these deformities. Bello was most likely adopted by a nursing chimp when the boy was only about six months old. It was no wonder that the child didn't know how to act human at all. He walked like a chimpanzee with his arms dragging on the ground as he walked. He leaped and jumped and made monkey-like gestures. He couldn't speak or comprehend human language, but he knew how to make chimpanzee noises. Just like many feral children, Bello was not able to live a fully normal human life, and he died less than a decade after he was found in 2005. Number 11. The Child Raised by Monkeys John Sabunya learned about violence the hard way. As a kid, he saw his father take the life of his mother. With his will to survive, John fled to the jungle and lived in the wild. John, who was about three years old at the time, was left to fend for himself in the jungle. Strangely enough, a group of vervet monkeys approached him and offered him food like nuts and sweet potatoes. Although they fed him, the monkeys were still incredibly cautious of John for a while. When they realized that he was not a threat, they let the young boy join the group. John became part of their family, and the monkeys taught him how to find food and climb trees. John lived with his animal companions for several years until a villager spotted him amongst the pack of monkeys. The villager was incredibly bewildered when he saw John. At first, she couldn't believe that John was a human. He was covered with hair, he moved and sounded like a monkey, but there was one difference. John didn't have a tail. The villager approached John and brought him to the village where he got mixed reactions from the locals. Although John managed to survive with the monkeys, he was in a dreadful condition. He wasn't healthy, and he could have died if he wasn't found. John was one of the rare feral children who managed to be rescued and be integrated back into society. With the love and effort of those who found him, as well as several volunteers, John recovered. He learned basic human concepts and learned how to slowly live with humans again. When John was interviewed, he expressed his gratitude with little difficulty. He claimed that he was incredibly thankful for the monkeys, and if it weren't for them, he wouldn't have lived to experience the love of other humans. Number 10. The Feral Boy The story of Dina Sonachar, the feral boy, is similar to the story of Kamala and Damala. Just like the two children, he was found by hunters in the wilderness of India, trailing along a pack of wolves as if he were a part of it. The hunters decided to rescue him and bring him to a missionary living in India. Although the hunters gave him the name Dina, he was rarely addressed as such. Instead, he was called the Wolf Boy, which many believed was fitting due to his wild and wolf-like behavior. Dina walked on all fours, only ate raw meat, and liked gnawing on bones. For a long time, Dina couldn't understand humans and he was also clueless as to what human emotion or speech was. But the longer he stayed at the orphanage, the more he learned. As years passed by, he learned how to walk, stand upright, and he also learned how to dress. Number 9. Saved by Cats It's sometimes hard to believe that animals would care for a human baby that they've never even seen before. And yet, from time to time, it happens. In 2008, news about a one-year-old Argentine baby boy shocked many across the world. The boy was spotted by police officers in the streets surrounded by cats. The boy, for some reason, was left alone in the cold. If it weren't for the cats that snuggled up to the boy, the child would have froze to death. But aside from keeping him warm, the cats also groomed and fed him. The cats also defended the young boy from anyone whom the felines perceived as evil. In fact, the police claimed that the cats tried to intimidate them when they tried to rescue the boy. However, the story became much more heartbreaking. The child, who the police thought was abandoned by his parents, was actually the son of a homeless man. The father and son duo got separated while the father was searching for cardboard to sell. The cats may have only taken care of the young child for about a month, 
but it was still astounding that feral cats had the heart to take care of a human child. Number 8. Jungle Lady In 2012, a woman who was reported to be missing for almost four decades was finally found. Chady was only four years old when she vanished from her village in Seha, the southern region of Mizoram near Myanmar. Before she was found, several people reported that they spotted a wild woman in the jungle, and many believed that the place was haunted. As it turned out, it was none other than Chady, age 42. After hearing about the news of a feral woman, Chady's family reached out to the government, and after decades of being apart, the whole family became complete once more. There were some difficulties on Chady's part in living with humans again, but with the support of the authorities and her family, she managed to slowly learn to be with humans again. Number 7. John of Liege The story of John of Liege was among the first recorded instances of a feral child written in English. The life of John was recounted by scientist and philosopher Sir Kenelm Digby. John was forced to leave his home as a kid when soldiers ravaged the village he lived in. He fled along with his family, but John ran deeper into the woods and he got separated. He survived alone in the woods for years, surviving off of roots and fruits. But during one particularly harsh winter, John was forced to find a different place to stay. It was then that he found a nearby farm where he snuggled with the farm animals for warmth. He used the animal shed as shelter during particularly freezing nights, and John went unnoticed for a while, until several villagers finally noticed the strange creature who entered the shed during dusk. The villagers thought that John was a beast, they laid traps to catch him, and when they did, they were horrified. Instead of an animal, they found a human. They found a young man who did not know anything about being human. He wore no clothes, he didn't speak, and he was unsure of how to react to other human beings. Much to everyone's surprise, after John was rescued, he slowly began to learn how to be human again. Unlike other feral children, John spent his formative years with his parents which may have been the reason why it was easy for him to learn how to be human again after living in the wild for several years. Number 6. Wolf Girl of Devil's River The story of the Wolf Girl of Devil's River dates back to the 1830s when a couple was forced to flee to the wilderness and live in seclusion. The woman named Molly went into labor, and her husband Dent was forced to travel to the nearby settlement, which was a grueling 40-mile trek away from the cabin they lived in. Dent managed to reach the settlement, but while going back, a bolt of lightning struck him and killed him instantly, much to the horror of the villagers that witnessed the entire thing. Molly was alone in the cabin, with a storm raging outside. The villagers still tried to reach the cabin in time, but unfortunately when they arrived, Molly was long dead. The child, however, was nowhere in sight. The villagers assumed that the newborn was already snatched by an animal who most likely devoured the baby. They wouldn't know the truth until roughly a year later, when some villagers claimed that they had seen a young naked girl eating a freshly killed goat along with several wolves. It took several days before hunters captured the girl, and it proved to be a hard task. The young child was growling, snarling, and howling like a wild animal wanting to be let out. The wolves tried to rescue the girl, but the animals couldn't do anything because of the hunters. In the end, the child was brought to a nearby ranch where they tried to calm her down. The people offered her food and water, but she continued to attack everyone who approached her in a blind rage. The most surprising thing, however, was what unfolded the night the girl was captured. In the distance, the villagers heard wolves, the entire pack howling as if getting ready to attack. The wolves attacked the ranch, and after a bloody battle, the pack fled back to the woods. When the villagers checked on the girl, she was gone. The wolves came to rescue her, and she wasn't seen again. Some people did claim that they saw a strange wild woman in the woods trailing behind a pack of wolves. There were also some alleged sightings of a woman feeding two wolf cubs near the river in the 1850s. Number 5. Peter the Wild Boy The story of Peter the Wild Boy was quite a sad one. Peter was found living alone in a forest in Germany in 1725. He acted nothing like a human being. He couldn't talk, and he walked on all fours, much like an animal. When he was found by hunters, presumably 12-year-old Peter was brought to London by George I, but his goal wasn't to rescue the child, but to raise him like a son. Peter became a human pet at Kensington Palace. Many people marveled at the strange young boy who scampered on all fours around the palace. The boy didn't like wearing clothes. He also couldn't speak, and teaching him anything was hopeless. He was seen not as a young child, barely the age of 10, 
but as a strange spectacle. Many like to speculate what happened to the young boy in the woods. Was he raised by wolves, bears, or different animals? Peter's case became quite the sensation. The time he was discovered was considered the age of enlightenment. Many used Peter to ponder what it meant to be human. However, the saddening thing about Peter's story has only been discovered recently. After analyzing paintings of him, researchers hypothesized that there's a strong chance that Peter suffered from a disease known as Pitt Hopkins. It causes developmental difficulties and also stunts a child's physical development. To this day, many people recognize Peter's story as one of the saddest cases of feral and neglected children in history. Number 4. Captured by Monkeys Marina Chapman had an incredibly difficult childhood than most children her age. In her formative years, she didn't have any parents to rely on. Instead, she had monkeys. According to her, she survived in the heart of the Colombian jungle with only monkeys as companions. She learned how to walk on all fours, climb trees, eat bananas, and wild berries. Marina claimed that she was kidnapped by two adults when she was about five years old. Strangely enough, the two adults merely dropped her in the nearby jungle where she met the monkeys who raised her. One of the most amazing memories she shared was when an elder monkey allegedly saved her from dying. After eating some teramin, she suffered from food poisoning and she thought she was going to die. And at that moment, an elderly monkey guided her to muddy water. Marina drank some, and after vomiting, the pain she felt subsided, and she recovered. With how unbelievable her story is, many people are skeptical of her tale. However, Marina is content with sharing her experience. She claimed that no matter what, she would be forever thankful to the capuchin monkeys who saved her from dying in the jungle. Number 3. Ostrich Boy Hadara was a young child who was separated from his parents while the family was traveling through the Sahara Desert. He had no chance of surviving in the harsh desert on his own. But the young kid miraculously survived with the help of a herd of ostriches who took him in and treated him like family. Hadara was luckily rescued by humans after almost a decade. As amazing as it sounds, there are several claims that this story has no truth. What do you think? Is it really possible that a herd of ostriches took care of a young human child in the wild? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Number 2. Ivan Mishikov Ivan Mishikov was a child who was unlike other feral children. In the mid-1990s, at the age of three or four, Ivan made the decision to leave his home after being neglected by his alcoholic grandfather. The child preferred living on the street, along with a pack of stray dogs. The dogs, whom he named Jesse, Goga, Masha, and Seba, kept him warm and kept him safe while living in the streets. They all shared any food given to Ivan and any scraps they found. The young boy treated the dogs as his family, and so did the dogs. He survived for about two years until the police finally took notice of him and tried to rescue him. His rescue proved to be a difficult feat for the authorities. The dogs were extremely protective of young Ivan, and even the child didn't know whether he wanted to leave his canine family. It wasn't until Ivan was five or six years old that he finally decided that he needed help. In the end, Ivan found a foster mother who took care of him, provided him education, and helped him get a full-time job. Number 1. Goat Boy Little is known about Andes, the goat boy. All we know is that he was found in 1990 living in the mountains of Peru. The child, who was about 8 years old, lived among none other than goats. People claimed that they saw Andes walking on all fours. The child's hands and feet were covered with calluses, most likely due to walking on the rough trails of the mountain. The child managed to survive by following the goats. He drank their milk and ate roots, berries, and even grass. Andes was brought to the city by a team of researchers from Kansas, and they found out that the young Andes, whom they formally named Daniel, didn't have any capacity to be human. He didn't know how to speak, eat, or drink like a person. And yet, he was an expert in communicating with those whom he thought of as family, the goats he grew up with. This is the only known information about Daniel, but hopefully he lived peacefully and was taken care of properly. It's unbelievable that some children out there grow up in inhumane conditions. Which of these stories surprised you the most? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.